he's all relaxed, kicked back, just soaking it all in, enjoying it. My old little man, he's my pretty boy. Back to my type of camping. I'm at um, Sugar Wright Canyon State Park now. I'm probably about 12 miles uh, northeast of Ratoon and probably about 20 miles from Trinidad and Colorado. But yeah, back up in the woods and believe it or not, it's, it's 35 degrees here and it was snowing earlier, but I got electric, I got water. The sites are pretty small, pretty compact, but believe it or not, the camp host is in a scamp too. So check it out, look behind me. Beautiful, isn't it? Back up in the woods, gotta love it. I think it's got like three campgrounds in this place, but this one here, I don't think it but like 10 or 15 electric sites, but as you can see, I got electric. I'm in site number 10, and right there I got my water, and of course I got my power going to the camper, one power cord going inside the camper to my electric heater, and then the orange cord is going to the refrigerator in the back of my car, but yeah, back up in the mountains. Love it. Even, <clears throat> excuse me, even got a bear box to put your food in. Got a picnic table. Got trees. That's what I wanted. Uh, and you got a fire pit and a barbecue, but they got fire abandoned in New Mexico right now, so you can't have any fires. But these are tight camp spots. I mean, dude right there he had a big camper. I'm surprised he got in, in here, but I just love seeing the trees again. Gotta love it. It says no turnaround on that sign, so I don't know how you go down there and turn around. I guess you gotta have your camping site and back in there. Okay, these are tent sites right here. See the tent pad? So that means it's a tent site. And I don't see any hookups either, so this is developed primitive camping, but you got your, your camping, your uh, tent site. You got your bear box, you got your table, you got your cooker, you got your fire pit if you want to fire, if they ever let us go back to have fires, but these are pretty nice up in here. I went into Ratoon, and there was deer in the middle of the town, I mean just glazing on the side of the glass, on the side of the grass, I was like wow really, but I uh, just love being back up in the woods. I'm going to go check out the other campgrounds and all, but I'm just going to kick back and relax because, yeah, this is another campground, by the way, no TV, no cell service, no internet service, no service whatsoever, so I, I got behind on my videos because I was at Clayton uh, Lake State Park for eight days and I couldn't upload a video because I couldn't find any place to upload a video. I even went into town to the um, tourist place. And that Wi-Fi was weak there, so yeah, that's why it was such a long break between my videos. But I'm back at it now. I found a place out here to upload a video. I did one a little early this morning, so get back on schedule like every three days. But yeah, I'm back up in the mountains and it's 35 degrees. My type of weather. Little man's in the trail getting warm, so yeah, we'll go around and check out all the campgrounds tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's three of them. And I think I've seen two lakes, so we got something to do tomorrow. So y'all come along and join me. We'll check them out. Okay, uh, I found the park board. And the showers are back here at the visitor center at the entrance. But they got one, two, three, three campgrounds and two lakes. But there you go. That's the board right there. So I guess I'll go back to the visitor center when I want my shower. That's a good drive, but it is what it is, so there you go. You talking about domesticated, look at them, they don't even move. I mean, I'm driving along and they don't even move. They just stand there. Pretty though. Look at this one here. He's just walking right on out in front of me. I'm just afraid they'll hit my damn car. There they go. Two round in car. Just sitting there staring at me. Okay, I had to move camp today. I wasn't I was in site number 10, but I only had that for two nights. Now I'm at site number four. 
which looks like a much better site. I think it's the best site in the whole park, but I had this site four days and down though, I don't know what I'm gonna do from there because like I said earlier, I don't have any video, I mean, no Wi-Fi or nothing down here, so I can't, you know, do any search and see where I'm going next, but this is a really cool site right here. I mean, I'm all by myself, just me and the rocks and little man. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of deer out here, but I lost the footage, so I don't know if my camera screwed up on me or either I screwed up, but check this site out. Okay, like I said before, it's site number four, but it's kind of like all by itself. You come around and turn, and it's all up in the rocks. I mean, I got electric. I got water. I got a whole lot of rock around me. So it should be real peaceful, beautiful trees. Love being back up in the trees again, but then I got my bear box right there, my picnic table, and up there I got the fire ring, and way up yonder he got the barbecue pit. I don't know, I don't know why it's way up there. I'm gonna see if I can get little man coming out of the trailer. You wanna come outside? Come on, baby. Come on, little man. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, little man. Little man, come on. Well, I got him out of a camper now. I just got to get him to follow me. Come over here, baby. Come on. Come on. Come around here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. You're not going to be able to jump up there. Come on. Come on around here. Come on, baby. What are you doing? Are you being silly? Come on. The little man getting so fat he half time he can't even move. He can't jump anymore. Or either his legs are getting old. Looks like he's doing a little bit of the hobble right there, but I hope not. Come on, baby. He's sniffing all around. Doing what he always does, but this is where the grill is right here. Looks like it'd be a good camp for a tent spot. But uh look at the size of those trees right there. Beautiful up here. He <laughs> doing his business on every rock he comes across. I guess I'm gonna have to start watching for snakes now starts getting warm and they'll be under the rocks and they'll be every place so you got kind of like keep an eye on them so yeah look at that wild tree right there that's pretty sweet come on baby come on little man don't go up in there hey come on he can go up in there anyway he don't listen to me he really don't but somebody threw a cigarette butt down. Now he's exploring in the rocks. Look at him. He's gonna be a mountain climber next. <laughs> it's been a long time since he's seen, he's seen anything green. Must flex big rocks like that. But yeah, this is a beautiful camp spot. I love being back up in the woods like this. I really do. Come on, baby. Oh, you gotta quit wetting everything. Little man, come on back down. Come on. Come on, baby boy. There you go. Oh, look at that view. Pretty unreal. There he goes. <laughs> Looks like he's limping. I'm going to have to check that out. Don't know if y'all can make that out, but it's raining. After you've been in New Mexico for nine months and you, you've only seen rain three times, it's a real blessing to see it again. I'm only like 10 miles from Colorado, so up in the mountains, everything's green again, as you can see. But yeah, and I love the sound of rain hitting the top of my camber. What you doing up on the counter, huh? Are you looking for something to eat? Is little man looking to eat? Or you just got your whole tail just a wagon? Just a wagon away? It's raining outside, yeah. We gotta stay inside where it's dry, yeah. 
You just sit there pretty. Daddy gonna start dinner in a little bit, yeah. Well, it's raining outside, so I guess I'm gonna cook dinner and kick back and watch a movie and um, just relax the evening. But this is why I like the countertop, I'll show y'all. But see, I can cook, I got the spaghetti out. I made some eggs right there. That's my go-to food right there, boiled egg. But, you know, you have to use all the space you got in these scams. But anyway, and I got my pan over here. And after I cook the spaghetti up, and I'll cook the noodles up. And then I have spaghetti. I use ragu right there. Little man, what are you doing? Hey, little man, are you sleepy? Are you sleepy, boy? Say, leave me alone, daddy. It's half sleeping. You just cook dinner. Get back with me later after you cook the dinner. Cause I get some rest, not sleepy. And I use a butane stove cause I don't ever use my stove under in the scamp because I got the countertop and it's got the stove covered. But I do like my little butane stove right there and it, it does the job, it really does. But uh, you gotta use all the space you got in a little scamp. Look at old sweetie pie over there. He can smell that dinner cooking, he just a waiting for it. Yeah, yeah. So it's beef spaghetti, a DVD tonight, and that'll be it. Anyway, if y'all don't know by now, spaghetti is one of my favorite meals because it's so easy to cook, and I just really enjoy it. Put a little cheese on it and a couple slices of bread with butter, which I don't have anymore. You got your good meal, so let me get back to cooking. You get used to working in tight spots, but I got the spaghetti sauce and let that simmer. I use elbows or seashells. I don't very often. I don't use spaghetti, but I wait for the water to boil. All I gotta do is strain it and pour it in there, and I'll be eating good tonight. Little man, he's over here sleeping. He, little man, how come you ain't helping, Daddy? Little man, hey, how come you ain't helping? Are you sleepy, boy? Huh? Are you sleepy, boy? Huh? Oh, now you want to play. Yeah, I want to play now, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to come over here and stretch, and then I want you to play with me. Yeah. Say, I want you to play with me, Daddy. Say, yeah, say, good boy. Uh, -uh don't jump down. Don't do no jumping no more. I'm going to start lifting you. I think you're getting a little bit of age on you, baby. You don't need to be jumping all the time. Little man, you ignoring me? Okay. Okay, I see you. I'm cooking dinner for us. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Looks pretty good, don't it? Almost done. Be eating good tonight. It don't take a whole lot to fog this camper up when you're boiling or cooking something. I mean, all the windows are fogged up. Pretty warm in here, but I guess that's a good thing. I'm saving on electricity and propane. I well, it's raining outside, but it, it sure does beat dirt and dust and dust storms and sand i mean only about 10 miles from colorado so i mean but yeah it's been a pretty steady rain it's been raining probably about an hour now so first rain i've seen the last more than five minutes and i don't know how long but yeah let me get back to my dinner i'm cooking i just want to give y'all a shot of the the rain that's coming down but uh look how foggy the windows are on the scamp cooking they're all fogged up ain't they but that's my baby right there. There you go, my finished product. And I even got some left over for another night. All I gotta do is clean the pan. I'm good to go. And then just kick back for the rest of the evening, relax. Watch my movie I got. When you don't have TV, the next best thing to do is go to Redbox. You wanna watch a little TV. So that's what I did. So me and little man to kick back night. And the rain is hitting top of the camper. I love that sound. You just enjoy the evening. He's down there in the little man's hiding space. Listen to the rain, ain't you, baby boy? Say, yes, I am, Daddy, but one last thing to do. I always make my coffee make, get my coffee maker ready for the morning because I hate getting up making coffee. I always use spring water, Maxwell House, my Mr. Coffee Maker, and my morning starts great. There you go. That's the evening in the scamp when it's raining. That's about what we do, because, I mean, yeah, that's just what we do, because we don't have TV, so we'll watch a DVD, and that's about it, you know, relax. Okay, my goal for today is to clean that fan behind me up there. I'll show you all how dirty it gets, but I have to do this about every month just to keep it clean, because 
I believe all the dust and dirt out here is really messing with my breathing pretty bad because on top of that I'm allergic to Lua Man so I got allergies from him too but let me show you what this fan looks like and then I'll show you how to get it down tell you how I clean it okay as y'all can see or hope y'all can see that's all dirt and grime and that's only like a month's worth but um uh, yeah take it down and clean it and stick it back up there so let me get going okay all you all you really need is a pair of needle nose pliers that's all i use it's got four little tabs right here all you do is turn them and it pops right on out it's pretty simple to do let me show y'all ow that hurt And it just pops on out. There you go. See how dirty it is. But um, also you can clean this fan up here. It's got a little hex screw. Y'all can't see it. I don't have the right size uh, hex wrench to take it out. But you can pull this whole fan down and wash that too. And put it back up there and tighten it back up. But that's going to be my goal for the day is clean this up. What I usually do, I wash it off of Dawn. Wash it real good with a some kind of cloth or scrub brush or something. Dry it off, poke it back up in there, and hopefully it cleans the air up a little bit more. But anyway, I did the same thing to the air condition yesterday, but I didn't film it. I pulled the filter out, and it was it was like a red brown dirty, and I just cleaned it up with Dawn dish detergent, get all the grease and dirt off of it, and popped it back up in there. But yeah, about once a month you have to do this, so hopefully that tells you how to do it. So there you go. When he wants loving, this is what he'll do. He'll come and lay on this counter so I'll love on him. This is his daily or nightly thing, whichever he chooses it to be. But does he look comfortable? Sometimes I wonder if it's his bed or my bed. Yeah, I do wonder about that. Little man says he likes it too. He just lays in his bed. See, I got a new bed. My daddy gave me a new bed. So I was really good to go now. I just go kick back and relax because I've had dinner and we just go sit around and relax tonight. That's what we do. Who's that right there? That's my old little man. What's he gonna do? Oh, there he comes, there he comes. He says, you gotta be fast if you wanna keep up with me, daddy. Say, I ain't no pokey. Say, my daddy vacuumed in his bed. He has to do that every day because of me. He's allergic to me. Ain't that right? Say, yeah. But it's all good, baby. It's all good. Can he see you next to that black pillow? Hey, boy, what you doing? Okay, I gotta get back to work. Okay.